Now that you are in a deep trance, I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine that you are at a carnival, and have just entered a funhouse mirror maze. The maze is organized into sections, with six in total. However, this mirror maze is different than any one that you might have been in before. You see, your reflection changes the further you go into each section, and so do you. And as you enter the first section, you see yourself as you truly are. However, as you step further in, you notice something changing. Your reflections seem to have dog ears, and as you feel the top of your head, you realize that you have them too. You continue on, enjoying the feeling of your new ears and carefully watching your reflections. Eventually, you notice something new behind you, a cute little dog tail. It wags rapidly, letting your joy in having it be known to anyone that sees you. As you continue to wander around the maze, your excitement dies down, and your tail wagging slows to a gentle sway. And just as it has fully calmed down, you find the exit. Continuing on to the next section, you feel your ears and tail shift, as your dog ears turn to cat ears, and your short dog tail to a long cat one. Then, you hear the sounds of birds coming from speakers hidden within the maze. A new feline instinct kicks in, and you chase after it. However, the sound keeps changing location, and you change more and more the longer you chase after it. The first thing that you notice is the addition of black fur to your reflection. It's nice and soft, and you stop chasing the sound a bit to enjoy stroking it. A bit later, you pay a bit more attention to your reflection than you had been, and notice that you have a short muzzle. A little while later, you end up passing by the exit in search of that bird, and barely manage to make yourself stop and head on to the next section. As you enter the third section, you feel your fur become much thicker than it was, and it turns grey with black spots. This section is very cold, some of the mirrors having a bit of frost on them. However, your thick fur keeps you perfectly warm as you wander around, wondering what your next change will be. As you go further in, your teeth become sharp and pointy. Unlike with the other changes, you can feel this one without having seen it first. As you walk on, your tail slowly swishing behind you, you notice that your feet have changed becoming three-toed paws, any shoes or socks that you were wearing no longer being present or needed. Happy with your form, you soon find the exit to this section and move on. As you approach the next section, finding the air to be just as cold as before, you notice a deep layer of snow on the ground. You wonder why it's there as you enter the next set of mirrors, but quickly find out why as you fall over, finding your movements to not be as they should. Fortunately, the snow absorbed the force of your landing, and your fur does a perfect job at keeping you warm in the frozen substance. You try to stand up, and find that when you try to move one way, you end up moving the opposite way. It takes you a few minutes to manage to stand up like this, and as you try to walk through the maze you fall over many times into the soft snow, but you don't mind. These mirrors are almost completely frosted over, so this section is much easier to navigate and you find this new challenge fun. When you do eventually reach the exit, you take a few minutes before entering the next section to get used to moving normally again. Once you have, you notice that the next section also has snow in it, but the mirrors aren't covered in frost like in the last one. As you cautiously pass the threshold into it, you're surprised to find that nothing seems out of place. That is, until you glance at the reflections of what should be your arms and hands, and see your foot paws and legs, immediately losing your balance and landing in the soft snow. You move around a bit, and realize that your arms and hands and feet and legs have swapped places. It takes you a bit to get used to this, but you find that you can still walk on all fours relatively normally and decide to do that. The only issue is that the snow seems to get higher the further in you go, and trudging through it on all fours takes quite a bit of effort, and by the time you reach the exit you are exhausted. You don't even stand up immediately when you enter the section between mazes, taking a minute to catch your breath. As you enter the next section, you notice a bunch of changes happening immediately. Your fur changes color and becomes less thick, turning white on the front of your torso and neck, as well as on the bottom half of your face. It also becomes black on your hands and feet and arms and legs, as well as orange everywhere else. Also, your muzzle goes from short to long and your ears become the canine ears of a fox. Your tail also becomes much larger and fluffier, 
the fur on the tip of it turning white. You walk through this maze, still feeling worn out from before. On the bright side, the temperature has increased to be comfortable with your new fox fur. As you walk through the maze you wonder what will change next. However, your question is quickly put to rest when you look at your legs and feet, realizing that they've adapted a digitigrade structure and stance. It feels nice to walk on your paws like this, and after a while with nothing happening, you take a close look at your reflection, wondering if a change happened that you didn't notice. But when you find nothing and look around, you realize that you are surrounded on all four sides by mirrors. You reach out to touch the one in front of you, and find that there's nothing there. Confused, you walk forwards, and find that your reflections all walk forwards with you. In fact, it seems like they aren't reflections at all, but more like a grid of identical yous standing around you for as far as the eye can see. You attempt to get close to the one in front of you, and find that you can get within tail's reach of it despite it seeming to move exactly like you do. You reach out to touch its tail, and are surprised when you feel that touch on your tail as well. You look behind you, all of the other yous moving their heads in sync, and you find that not only is the you behind you touching your tail, but that it is much longer, softer, silkier, and fluffier than it was moments ago. And best of all, there are now nine of them. You look back at the you in front of you and feel its tails, enjoying the hands running through your own as you do so. The tails are the softest, fluffiest, and most wonderful things that you have ever felt. You move your own tails to embrace the you behind you, knowing that you will embrace yourself as well through the you in front of you, and are almost overwhelmed by how good you feel. You're still feeling pretty worn out from earlier when you crawled through the snow, so you decide to move closer to the you in front of you and to your side until you're all really close together. Then, you lay down on your side and cuddle up to the you in front of you while nuzzling your head into the you by your side. Naturally you return your affection as you get comfy with yourself, finishing up by wrapping your tails around the you behind you, making that bond you feel with yourself so much stronger as you embrace yourself so lovingly. A few seconds later, a blanket appears over you, trapping in your warmth and making you feel even cozier. Then, the floor turns into a massive and super comfortable mattress that supports all of you, and the ceiling turns into a night sky with a meteor shower happening, the sounds of small critters in the night helping you to relax in this strange but wonderful place. You don't understand why all of this has happened, but that's okay. Sometimes life needs a bit of madness and you've been lucky enough to receive some of it. You can stay here enjoying yourself and the night sky for as long as you want, perhaps even falling asleep. And whenever you want to, or whenever you wake up, you will return to the real world in your real body. I don't want to get in the way of you enjoying your loving and caring embrace, so I'll tell you one last thing, say my farewell, and leave you alone. Now, Know that each effect of this hypnosis file will become inactive if that effect is a risk to your physical body or your well-being, if it is a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that it would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if it is a risk to your mental health. Also, any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one. Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it to be even slightly addicting. And now this session is almost over, so goodbye, and enjoy yourself.